Alternatively, if we want to do this for the general distributions, it's very similar, but we have a bit more to consider. So first, we can talk about this in terms of that conversion, like we mentioned with the other calculator stuff. Norm.s.dist, you can convert it to a z-score of negative 2, where we are going to accumulate, and you get the appropriate decimal, or you can use the general normal distribution function, where here you would put in the x value of 4, the mean of 22, and the standard deviation of 9, where we're still accumulating, and you get the same number for essentially the same reason. If instead we want to find the area between, it's just like we did in that last one, except now we have a general distribution to work with, so norm.dist, the top side here, will occur at the score of 52, while the mean here is 43, and we have that standard deviation in this case of 12, where we are accumulating. Then from this, we are going to subtract the things below the value of 22. So, take our distribution for the value 22, with that same mean that we had before, in this case, 43, and that same standard deviation of 12, where we will accumulate to get, up to rounding, the appropriate percentage of values. Meanwhile, if we want to find the area above, well, we have to be a little careful here, because again, the Excel function is designed for a traditional accumulation up to. If we want to go beyond for this, we have to use a complement. So to understand that if we want to find things above 37, we need to look for all things below 37 and subtract that from 1, because it works in the same way. Where this actually brings up an important theoretical point here that you may have seen in the more long-form videos about how we can consider this stuff, but when we're talking about things that are kind of real-world valued, we make some assumptions with modeling. Anyway, here we want a complement. We want the complement of the accumulation up to 37, so we put equals 1 minus norm dot dist of the value 37 in that distribution that has a mean of 43 and a standard deviation of 12 where we will accumulate. And that gives us our appropriate percentage.